Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome to Ray Sports Ram. My name is Ray Rout, and this uh, we are a part of the Dean Blundell Network over at DeanBlundell.com. And uh, we're going to be looking at this LA Galaxy game uh, that Toronto FC played tonight. And then talking a little bit specifically, is Alex Bono the reason that TFC won't be going to the playoffs? Because Toronto FC had their hearts broken tonight by a late goal by the LA Galaxy. And TFC's playoff hopes have all but shrunk significantly since then. And again, unfortunately, it was goalkeeper Alex Bono that led in another soft goal. And here's a little spoiler for what I'm going to be talking about later on. To me, Alex Bono is the difference between Toronto going to the playoffs and not. And I've got stats to prove that. Wednesday's game was absolutely crucial for Toronto FC. Right, let's not forget, they started Wednesday night, I think, three points out of sixth and seventh, and I think ninth, out of, or six points out of fifth, or it could have been three points at the time. I got to check if Orlando played tonight. But sixth and seventh were right up for grabs. And I've been discussing this probably for the last two weeks. Every single game that Toronto FC plays, they need to win. They need to secure three points. In the last four games, they've got one win. A draw against New England. A loss to Inner miami They beat Portland. Or not Portland. And then they drew tonight against the LA. Sorry, they beat Charlotte. And then they draw tonight against the LA Galaxy, who, which in my opinion, it was as good as a loss. And things have now gotten very difficult for Toronto FC going down the line. And I'm going to summarize this game a little bit here. I think it's fair to say that the LA Galaxy had created the better chances in the first half, even though both teams really didn't create much. I think Bernadeschi had a, uh, Bernadeschi had a nice chance for a header that went wide. And that was really Toronto FC's big, you know, moment. But it was Douglas Costa, the galaxy who was able to break that deadlock the 24th minute. And again, it was on a free kick that looked great in real time. But when you watch the replay, one that Alex Bono should have had. Like, it wasn't a terrible shot by Costa. It was hard. It did go over the left, but, like, it didn't go into the top corner. Alex Bono was slow to react. Alex Bono couldn't find the ball in the traffic. And Alex Bono let in what I think was a very savable shot. And for another time this season, and it's becoming countless now, Toronto FC had to play from behind because Bono let in a goal that he should have saved. And in the second half, Toronto FC come back. Jesus uh, Jimenez scores a beautiful goal, makes a 1-1. In the, what, 81st minute? Federico Bernadeschi draws a penalty. Galaxy cough up the ball, pass it to Bernadeschi. He takes it into the box. He gets fouled, draws the penalty, takes the penalty, hammers it into the right side, right bottom corner. The keeper gets his hands on it, but it was so strong it bounces into the net. TFC takes a 2-1 to one lead. And at that point, I'm thinking, okay, Toronto FC is going to walk away with the win. We're going to get the three points. I'm going to write a blog. I'm going to go on the podcast. I'm going to be reporting on Toronto FC's playoff hopes still alive with another big win. And then Rakui Puig comes flying up the center of the field. Flying. And he unleashes a shot from, I don't know, like 30 yards out. And just hammers it in the top corner. And Bono had no chance. It was in the 89th minute. 
and they just stole. Puig stole two points away from Toronto FC. And like I said at the top, this tie was as heartbreaking as a loss because the tie felt as good as a loss. Dropping two points seemed almost unacceptable heading into tonight. TFC only has five games remaining. There is only a possible 15 points left on the board for, for TFC. And in my opinion, if they have any hope of making the playoffs and competing for an MLS Cup, they have to take all 15 points. Because it's not even guaranteed if they win the next five games that they're going to make the playoffs because they need the teams ahead of them to lose. Let's let's take a really quick look at the standings here. So here's the tables right now. Columbus is in that seventh and final playoff spot. They have 36 points, but they got two games in hand on Toronto. Inter-Miami is three points ahead of them in the sixth spot, but they have a game in hand on Toronto. Orlando has a game in hand, and they're six points ahead. I think fifth is out of the question now. Now you're battling for sixth or seventh. Now, TFC, I believe, does have a game against Inter-Miami coming up in four weeks. They have Orlando in three. I cannot stress that those are must-wins. But you got Montreal on Sunday. Must win. Atlanta on the 10th, must win. And then Orlando on the 17th. And Inter-Miami on the Friday. Which I think are the two most crucial games that TFC's got coming up. And of course, they got Philadelphia to finish off the season on October 9th. But they need goaltending. And I have tried to stay positive. I have tried to stay away from the subject, but I can't anymore. Alex Bono is a serious problem for TFC. And listen, I hate scapegoating a player. And that's a very Toronto thing. It's a Toronto thing and a Boston and a New York thing. Find one person, a coach, a player, whatever, blame them for everything. We do it all the time. Leaf fans are famous for it. But the past four games, Alex Bono, in my opinion, has cost TFC at least seven points. Mistakes against the Revolution, they tied 2-2. A terrible goal against Inter-Miami where the ball just flicks off his hands. They lose the game 2-1. And then tonight, the free kick. Because if he doesn't let it in, Toronto wins 2-1. It's a problem. Toronto is going to have to address this during the next transfer window. Because TFC is coming back strong next season. And I don't want to talk about next season and oh next season, next season. I hate when you know I get, it. but listen, they are. They're gonna come back strong next season. And they need consistent goalkeeping that they can count on, and they're not gonna get that from Alex Bono. I'm sorry, they're not. He's been a problem, and he's gonna be a problem for a while. All right. That's it. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in to this version of Race Sports Rant for the Dean Blundell Network at deanblundell.com. Uh, not sure what I'll be ranting about tomorrow. I'll be ranting about something. Maybe the Toronto Blue Jays. Maybe the Maple Leafs. Maybe Hockey Canada. I do got some stuff to say about Hockey Canada. I wrote a piece on deanblundell.com today. You can go see that there, but maybe I'll have a little bit of a discussion around that. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot.
Follow me on Twitter at DPN underscore Ray. Uh, don't forget, you're all legit, kid. Thank you.